Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on December 26, 2021 at approximately 4.51 a.m. PST. Well, we've talked a lot about things. Time to get down to business, I think. I was asked a question today that was absolutely brilliant. Okay. So many people talk about this idea of belief, of faith, of wish, you know, of wishes, of dreams, of hopes, all of these different words for the same thing. Attaining that which is not already in your possession, whether it's a material thing or a, or a mental thing, is irrelevant. But the question I got asked is why is it the people why is it the people that are doing their best to be nice, doing their best to do the right thing, as it were, why is it when they ask for help from the, from their higher power, they don't get it, or they don't seem to get it? Well, as, as we put it to them, the reality of it is this. People are taught backwards. And yes, I am going to explain that. Okay, I forgot to double check, but I believe, and if not, I'll be doing it again anyway. But in a nutshell, here's why. Okay, humans, most corporeals are taught to think in linear in linear means. In other words, if you if you desire if you don't have something in your possession, then you don't have it. It's just that way. You know, if you don't have a million dollars in your bank account, you just don't have it. So it makes sense to ask for that which you don't have. It makes total sense to, you know, ask for help if you're having trouble with something. Problem, though, is that it does not attain what you're aiming for. Because the moment you ask for something, you're acknowledging you don't have it. Now, in linear thinking, this works perfectly. Okay, if you don't have the salt in your possession right now, then you don't have it. That's the way linear works. However, mankind stumbled across a belief structure that actually worked really well in explaining it. Today is the tomorrow we dream we dreamt about yesterday, and today is the yesterday we will talk about tomorrow. When you put these these two concepts to, together, what you've got is today, tomorrow, and yesterday are all the same time. And this is the only point in time when you can change anything. And I've mentioned that to you before. In linear thinking, that works beautifully. However, in loop, okay, the way the universe works, it all happens at once. Okay, linear says today, it says yesterday, today, tomorrow are separate times. Loop thinking, the way the, the, the way that the universe works, sees yesterday, tomorrow, today, and tomorrow all at the same point in time. Okay, so when you're, when you're asking for something, when you're going, gee, I really wish I had such and such, you know, I really, do, I, mean, you know, I really want a, a, a million dollars in my bank account. That's a wonderful thought because it makes total sense in linear thinking. If you don't have it, then it's something you're striving for. Problem. The universe sees that in what the universe hears when you say, I want a million dollars in my bank account. What the universe actually hears is, I desire to experience a lack of a million dollars in my bank account. So the universe goes, no problem. Doesn't give you the million dollars, but it gave you exactly what you asked for. Okay, you asked to experience, the universe heard you ask, to experience a lack of money. So it provided a lack of money. You got what you asked for. The problem was you were not, and you did not say and know what you were asking for. You didn't understand the way that the, that the universe was speaking. Now, with that in mind, <clears throat> for those of you that are wishing, that are hoping, that are praying for things to change, I encourage you very strongly to step away from that aspect and instead of asking, okay, thank the universe, thank your God for
for providing whatever it is. Now, the other problem that we have with that philosophy in linear thinking, if you thank somebody for doing something they haven't done, you're doing one thing, one of two things. You're either being extremely ignorant, as in blind to the reality, or very arrogant, assuming they're going to do it. And again, in linear thinking, this makes sense. But the way the universe sees it, if you're not saying, if you thank them, then what that means is, yeah, you may not have it in your possession right now, but down the road you could. You know, down the road you will. And since down the road is today, it will start moving things in the right order. Now, it still has to work within, within linear confines. See, when I mentioned a while ago that reality was a battle of wills, in reality, it's not just a battle of, of your will against somebody else. It's your will against the entirety of the educational system. Okay, the way society has evolved, the way society has taught people to think, you've got to stand your ground against that. Okay, in order to get things to shift. Now, am I a millionaire? No, but again, myself never was a point, never was a real functional pro, a functional point to focus on. But there's been a change to that side of it as well, and I may get to that a little later. When we're talking about attaining your goals and you're asking for assistance, thank your God, thank your spiritual guide, thank whoever it is that you're praying to for providing said change, as in it's already occurred. Now, this little thing here, okay. And I don't know, I don't even know if I've got the information handy, so I'm just going to check just because I'm curious. Uh, if we go to, no, we didn't want that. We want that. Okay. Blow that up, go to the right shift. Okay, now. We just got some extra money in today, actually. Did I keep my wallet with me? Yep. See, here's the thing. When I'm talking about, about goals and what have you, okay, it becomes very necessary to realize that you're actually working on different projects. Hmm. Could have sworn I had more. Anyway. If you don't feel, if you're missing something, if you're desiring money in the bank, okay, now, I've got a goal myself where it comes to the finances of making, well, the way this is written here, and I do encourage you to use this tool, on a sheet of paper, you write down on it, I have legally attained a minimum, in my case, of $3,300, okay, do I require that? Absolutely not. But is that what I'm aiming for? Okay, it says by 12-31-2021. Okay, and that's not even complete. By one minute to midnight. Okay, didn't realize that. But I encourage you to do that because it helps shift the energy around and draw the money to you. Okay, and you'll notice that statement is written in present tense. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, we mentioned just yesterday, the day before, I only require twenty five hundred to run my house and I have lots of room to work with. But you'll notice I have a I've already got it in my head that I've made thirty three. Well, currently, I have generated. What am we looking at? Currently, I have generated uh, just over two thousand. But I have another check coming in, and I have a, a contract payment coming in. And so I've got it written down there. But when you're aiming at something you do not currently, do, currently own, thank your guides. Thank your God, whoever you're thanking, whoever you're praying to. 
thank them for providing such and such an item. By doing this, you draw the energy out of the spiritual realm into the material world where it can be made manifest. Now, I'm not suggesting that you just take my word for it. Absolutely, keep your skepticism. Okay, you can be you can be skeptical, and there's a lot of people that have tried this and been very skeptic, skeptical, and found out to their excitement that they that it actually worked. You can you can be skeptical all you want about parachuting. Okay, you and you can say and you can go no, that's not going to work. And you can be skeptical. You can be afraid. Absolutely, as long as you do what you're told. Okay, if you do what you're told, and your and your parachute has been packed properly, okay, and you and you jump out of the plane, you can be as afraid as you will, as long as you pull the ripcord when you're told to. You can be afraid, you can be skeptical, but it'll catch you, in all likelihood. Is there a possibility it won't? Certainly, but that's half the excitement, apparently. So be skeptical. Don't take my word for it. But, instead of just asking for assistance from here on out, thank your God. You know, whoever you're praying to, whoever you're turning to for, for spiritual, spiritual support, thank them for providing what they're doing, for providing what you're, what you're short of. Okay, now I will tell you, there's a lot of spiritual guides out there that will look at you really confused if you thank them, because... People have been taught around the world that if you thank somebody for doing something before they've done it, basically you're being you're being arrogant or pushy. Okay, or you might be being sarcastic. There's a lot of negative connotation to it. Okay. And it does take a little bit to get your brain wrapped around. But the reality of it is it works. Don't take my word for it. If you haven't done this before, Start. You haven't been making headway with the way you've been doing it. Try something new. It was best stated once that the that the that the most effective way of describing sanity, insanity, like the true definition of insanity, is repeatedly doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. Okay. Now, if your method has not been working. This is the time to really start pushing the limits. Change the way you're doing it. Instead of asking for, instead of praying and hoping things happen. Okay, I've heard a lot of different people following a lot of different religions do the same thing. Okay, where they tell you, God helps those that help themselves. And they, and they do it by various different names, but the outcome is the same. They're not referring to stealing from people. Remember, karmic law. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. Okay. So when we're talking about helping yourself, what we're talking about is certainly do your prayer, your prayers. Go to church, go to a coven, go to a temple, doesn't matter. Do your prayers. But while you're there, thank whoever it is that you're, that you're giving, that you're, that you're, that your understanding is going to assist you in making it your life successful. But then you're going to have to get up and do something about it. Now, the thing is, the task I got handed when I, and I agreed to it, the task I got handed when I came back to this world was to help people understand that working together, we can make this a better world. Okay, but the reality is it is up to you. It's up to each and every one of us to actually make the make the effort to change things. That starts with understanding how energy works. Okay, once you've got that, then you can start manipulating it. Now, 40,000 years ago, we had it down to a fine art. The manifesting money... What you're manifesting things was done just by thinking about it. And it worked like a charm. Okay. And yes, we did discover that when we when we linked in with each other, when we worked together, we could make things last even while we were sleeping. Okay. There is no functional limit to what you can do. 
there is a massive limit to what you believe you can do. And therefore, whether you believe you can accomplish something or you believe you can't, either way, you're absolutely right. Okay, and that is why I've got that wooden sign over my over my left shoulder. Yeah, over my Yep, over my left shoulder. I'm trying to turn around in my head. Okay, that sign over there that says I am worth it. Okay. And the reality of it is this. Every one of you is just as valuable as the next person. You may have, you know, you may or may not have more money. And I've talked about that before. But right now I'm referring to manifestation. Now, it was on the same person that asked me the question when I was explaining it to them. Turned around and said, well, what you're saying sounds almost like you're going, like when we go, thank you in advance for, you know, for your help. You know, when you know somebody is absolutely going to do something. Right. You ask them, you know, will you give me a ride? And you know you're in a hectic way, so you get into the car and you go, look, I just want to say thank you in advance for running, for shuttling me around today. It hasn't happened. So thanking you in advance makes sense. From the universe's standpoint, it's a nice trade-off. But the thing is, like people, I mean, many people have asked me why it is when I, when they ask for help, I'll help them, but the universe won't. Well, the reason being is I translate. I understand from a linear concept why people are asking things the way they are. The universe doesn't. The universe doesn't actually care why. It operates on what you ask. And no, by the way, asking for somebody to drop dead doesn't work. Asking for somebody, you know, thanking thanking the universe for making so and so fall in love with you, contravenes freedom of choice. So it won't do that. And any way in which worth their salt will tell you the same thing. We do not make you make people fall in love with you. Karmically, it's an absolute disaster waiting to happen. But. When you start under, start accepting, you don't even have to understand the concept. Accept the concept that by thanking you, the universe in advance for you for its assistance, okay, by thanking it for providing said said service, you're stacking the deck in your favor. You simply have to accept the possibility and give it a shot. Do it enough times, you'll come to understand that's the way it works. You'll come to accept it without a problem. Which is why I've got a few things on the go that I've got to get done today. Uh, or more to the point, it specifically marks out some of the things I've got to get done. Okay, like today, I've been working very diligently. I started off with only actually three things on my list. Okay. I have currently done... I've currently done seven of them. And I've, I've got four more on my list ready to go. But by the time I get done this video, I will have racked off two of those. Okay, and the reason I do that is because I started this morning at, I think, about 4 o'clock. Here we are, 7 o'clock in the morning, Pacific time. And I've managed to get a number of things done. And the number already listed and ready to go. But when we talk about thanking the, the, your God, thanking your guides, thanking the spirits or whoever, when you thank them for doing something, what you're actually doing is setting the energy in motion to make it happen. Okay. You know, I mean, it was funny. I spent a lot of time this year, once I got started doing the editing for the end of an epoch, I really desired to have it in the printer before Christmas. Well, I managed to get into the printer on, I don't remember in all fairness if it was the 23rd or the 24th. I'm honestly not certain which. What I do know is it's in the printer. Okay, which means, much as I thank the universe a lot for helping me get the editing wrapped up so I could get it into print, I, spent, I did a lot of praying in that, in that respect. We managed to attain it. 
Okay. Which means that come sometime in the next few days, theoretically, early in January at the latest, I will have the sequel to The Birth of the Wolf Pack in my possession. And I can start moving it around where I desire to. But instead, I uh, know there is another video I did earlier. Okay, way back with the subtitle language. Want. Look it up. Okay, I went into a lot more detail on how the whole concept of want works and how to get around it. Okay, how to modify your thinking and your speech patterning to make it happen. Because here's the thing. Whatever you're talking about, the moment you the moment you utter a word, you draw that energy out of the spiritual realm, out of the thought realm, if you will, into the material world where there is physical marker for it, where it can now be made manifest. And this is where that effort comes in really handy. So by doing that, it opens the doors to a lot better change, a, lo a lot more effective change. Okay, and again, don't just take my word for it, but if your life is not going the way you desire it to, these are tools that I personally use. These are philosophies I personally live by to make things happen. Now, I was really pleasantly surprised. I was pushing pretty hard, and I was doing the necessary work to get the editing done. Okay, to get it turned around so that I was content with the outcome. Well, I managed to get it done. And I'll tell you, it was an absolute, an absolutely fantastic feel, getting it wrapped up that way. And so, does it cost me a little money? Absolutely. When I get off, when I get done this, done this video, I have to go back through my finances. I've already checked with my local printer. Like, I've already done the calculations. And with every book that I've put into print, through my local printer, I have made money at every one of them. Incl and that includes the cost of my cost of printing, okay, and my cost of shipping. I've made a profit over that. Now, I'm not calculating, calculating the amount of time because there's no functional way I can. But I can quantify the cost of printing and the cost of shipping. So, when you take that into consideration, I right now have... Six books in print, Birth of the Wolf Pack, Races of the World, Believe in Yourself and Follow Your Dreams, Believe in Your Business and Follow Your Dreams, and Mr. Dreamcatcher. So five books in print, well, plus, of course, The End of an Epoch, which I haven't gotten my phys physical position yet. But of the five that are already in print, every one of them has made money. Okay, so when I talk about do I know how to make money with the print, with writing books, I can legitimately now say yes. I have to look at Author House, which is the people that are doing my mainstream printing. And I have to start catching that and see when I start making money on that. But I figured out where the flaw was. Marketing is not my strong suit. Okay, so I've had to start teaching myself how to get about that. One of the biggest issues is making sure things get visible. But when we're talking about manifesting your dreams, it boils down to the same thing. Get an idea in your head of what you're not content with. Pray to whoever you will. Thank, you know, Talk to whoever you will. Get the guidance. Get the assistance from those that have done it successfully. Okay. Not necessarily are they, are they extremely well off, unless you're planning on being extremely well off. For instance, if you desire to be a millionaire, don't talk to me, okay, because frankly, I can tell you the path, but I'm not the person that's actually done it. If you desire to tell you, if you desire to talk to somebody about making money with writing, that I can legitimately say, I've written five books that I have in physical print that I've self-published that are now very much making money. Not a lot. But they are making money. And because of that, I can honestly say, here's the steps to go. But when we're talking about what you want to have in your life, if you utter the words, I want 
to have such and such. What you're telling the universe and what the universe is hearing from you is I desire to experience a lack of money. And it will quite readily apply, quite readily um, adhere to that desire. And it will fulfill it. It will give you the experience of lack of money. You know, it may not understand why, but, you know, the reality is it doesn't care. You ask for this. You've got the free will to ask for whatever. You've got the free will to talk about what you want to have. Okay. Now, here's an obvious example. You take a look at the length of my hair. Okay. If I, if I desire my hair to be cut, I either have to physically do it myself or I have to take myself someplace where somebody else can do it. Fortunately, like I told my mom, Okay, my mom and dad used to used to complain all the time that I had long hair. And they'd go, when are you getting your hair cut, Keith? I'd look at them and go, I'm not. So, of course, they'd be looking at me going, well, why won't you get your hair cut? You know, why won't you get your hair cut? Since I can't figure out which hair to cut. Right? So I just don't bother. Now, am I perfect? Not a prayer, as evidenced by yesterday. Okay, I ended up laying, getting way off kilter and totally turned, turn, in my eyes, totally turned Christmas upside down. But it wasn't by getting mad at anybody. I just had a, had a problem wrapping my brain around a few things and it just went downhill. Now, I've already apologized to two out of three of them. But two, the two that I've already talked to, have both said it, was, it wasn't a big problem. They didn't take it as big of an issue as I did. But it still bothers me. Now, do I have a clue how to solve the problem? No. I really don't. Not at this point, anyway. It was, it was comical, you know. I ordered this shirt that I'm wearing. Okay. And what it says, you know, obviously, it's a gamer shirt. You know, it really is. Oh, there we go. That's sort of it. It really is a gamer shirt, but it says chaotic good. Underneath, where you can't read it, well, I guess you can, sort of. See? Is good intentions, questionable methods. Now, I've run into an interesting snag here. Okay, because I that makes total sense from my end. But like I mentioned a while back, you know, I have an interesting problem. I don't have a lot of tolerance for people, you know, head on. Much as I will tell you this is what's necessary, I really don't have a lot of tolerance for them. However, I've got this other drive of me that says, let's see what we can do about helping everybody. Now, I was talking, and again, this is where talking to other people get getting different ideas. I mentioned I will not give to a charity. I won't give money to a charity, and it's still the case. I'm still looking at, for me, $2,500 a month is absolutely necessary to comfortably run my house. Okay, that's rent, utilities, food, insurance, entertainment. $2,500 will do me quite nicely. Okay, so I'm taking 10% of that, and... And putting it aside for Christmas of this coming year. Okay, starting with whatever I make over twenty five hundred this this month. Okay, I will take ten percent of that and put it aside. That money, when we get to the end of the year, will be split in twelve packages. And this is where a conversation with another chap worked out really well. One of those twelve will be going to me. One of those twelve parts will go to me into savings. Okay. Now, that is quite... Now, remember I mentioned I was already covering savings as well. But, believe me, you know, it literally boils down to being true to yourself first. If I'm going to help a bunch of other people, I still have to make certain I'm helping me. Okay, because you're the only person that can be successful for you. So, of those 12 envelopes... One will go into my pocket, and it will take the, the overflow. Like, if something doesn't break down evenly, I'll end up with the spare, because I'm going to be rounding it down to the nearest $5. And that's just an arbitrary amount. 
but it's arbitrary based on the fact that the bills in Canada, paper bills only go as small as $5. So I will be rounding down to $5. And then all the overflow will go into that one envelope. It will in turn go into my bank. Okay, into my retirement fund. Now, the second on the second envelope, and this is where the discussion came in handy. The second envelope will go into will go to the food bank. But I will go down, buy a chunk of food, and take it down there myself. Thereby the food will go to the food bank, not the money. Then I will take the other ten and they will go to random people, whoever I run across. To help them. Now, on that note, we've run over. And I'm going to bring this to a close. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And by all means, tune back in. Share it with everybody you can. Until tomorrow, take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.